Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to honor the best new construction project under $10 million. Congratulations to F.J. Bussey Company, Incorporated, Foffman and & Associates, and Meadowcroft Rock Shelter Museum of Rural Life. Winners in the new construction under $10 million category for the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter Enclosure. On the surface, this project seemed to be fairly straightforward. Build a new roof and observation deck for visitors. But achieving that end was very complex due to the sloping site and delicate nature of the archaeological remains within the building. The F.J. Bussey Company met this challenge and through teamwork achieved customer satisfaction. During the process of construction there were several issues that, that came about. Um, one being just getting those large glue laminated beams uh, up to the site and attaching them to a rock face that's very irregular. Uh, required a uh, laser survey to generate a, a map of the rock face to precisely pinpoint the, the angles of the attachment. Um, and then one of the other major problems we had was with the foundations. Uh, to be able to dig footers on that site was very challenging and uh, presented a number of problems, one being the depth to bedrock. Uh, it, it necessitated digging a, a hole that would have required a large piece of machinery and that would have caused damage to the site. So that was ruled out as an option. And uh, to overcome that, we came up with the idea of the large struts that you see, the three struts that brace the foundations and provide lateral support for those footers. Uh, and they're actually braced against large pieces of rock that had fallen off the roof prehistorically. So in a, in a poetic kind of way, the old roof is now supporting uh, our new structure. The structure included the layout and fitting of wood slat wall around rocks and the uneven grade of the site. The wood decking used for this project was a South American iron wood called IPE, which is extremely hard and heavy. This wood decking was over two and a half inches thick and had to be scribed into the cliff face. It spanned over 10 feet between rafters. Entrance into the enclosure is through a pivot door made of slat wall that rolls open. The door is more than 13 feet tall and 6 feet wide and matches the layout of the fixed slat wall precisely. Meadowcroft Rock Shelter utilizes numerous green building practices. The enclosure is primarily unconditioned for heating and cooling except for a supplemental split system cooling unit. The slat wall construction enables natural light to illuminate the enclosure while controlling the negative effects of the sunlight on the interior. The fabricators of the glue laminated timbers utilized a water-based stain finish. The Meadowcroft Rock Shelter project stands as a testament to teamwork and building excellence, which will enable people for generations to come to view the history of mankind. Well, I'd just like to offer congratulations to uh, John Paul Bussey and Joe Zalanka and the entire F.J. Bussey team uh, that worked on this project. This is their first Building Excellence Award and it's very well deserved. Again, Congratulations to the construction team. Henry Nutbrown will be presenting the award. Please welcome him, along with the winning construction team representatives. Thank you. Um, I'm Henry Nutbrown, and uh, along with the other judges, it was an honor for us all really to be judges of, uh, of this uh, event. Uh, there were so many good projects, uh, so many great projects that we had to uh, review. Uh, it was a very difficult uh, decision in, in many cases. Uh, the, uh, the project that uh, I'm introducing, the Meadowcroft Village, is uh, one that uh, is right here in our own backyard. It's a cultural attraction uh, that if you haven't been there, you really need to go and see it. Uh, people, uh, Belian, uh, in Indians uh, lived here something like 16,000 years ago. This project was a very, very difficult project to build. 
Uh, it was one where you could hardly leave a footprint. Uh, there were many, many restrictions uh, on the uh, not, you know, e impacting the flora and the fauna of this historic site, and also the archaeological uh, strata that uh, was partially excavated was so fragile that if it became uh, in contact with the weather uh, or even uh, the construction people tramping around, it would simply crumble. And so it, all these things made it very difficult. If you followed the FJ Bussey Company, however, you'll know that they do difficult projects. Uh, they make them look easy. And they did a great project here. And I'm very happy to welcome uh, John Paul Bussey uh, to accept this award on behalf of the Bussey Company. It's a great honor tonight to receive this award. It's the first one we've ever got. We've submitted many times, and uh, it was a very challenging project. Uh, I, I don't think we'll ever do anything as intense as this project in my entire life, and I hope not. Um, I want to thank the project team. Uh, first off, I want to thank Joe Zalonka, our project superintendent. He just made the job happen. I mean, if it wasn't for him, his job wouldn't have happened, and he definitely made it happen. Um, I also want to thank the owners, uh, Meadowcroft Rock Shelter, Dave Schofield, uh, Betty Arnth with the Historical Society of Western Pennsylvania, Dr. Adebasio with the Mercyhurst Archaeologist uh, College, um, Thoffman and Associates, Atlantic Engineering, Siege Industries, uh, Giffen Interiors did some work for us, as well as uh, Gateway Engineers. Thank you very much.